Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Eternal Flames. My name is Blaze. So, if you've noticed, we got ourselves a very interesting little setup here, and I've been looking at some of the older tutorials, especially for, say, like Terra Firma Craft. For those of you who have played Minecraft, but not Terra Firma Craft, you have no idea the changes that are in store for you. Not only that, but Terra Firma Craft has got some pretty large changes as of recently, which will affect our new series and our new Let's Play to better allow you guys to either A, follow along, or B, maybe jump in and survive and thrive on your own, here are a set of tutorials that I feel that you guys may enjoy to help you get along in the world. Keep in mind that these tutorials are for beginners or people who just haven't done that specific thing before. If you don't like this particular tutorial, feel free to skip ahead or maybe go back a couple steps. This particular message will be in front of all the tutorials and we heavily encourage you guys to watch them if you want the help. If you feel you want to learn on your own, by all means go try to, or maybe you just don't want to listen to me. In that case, go take a look at the wiki, which we have down in the description below. Hope you guys all enjoy, and I guess uh, we'll see you soon. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we've had one hell of a ride, haven't we? And honestly, I've enjoyed it with you guys. But it's time we bring this to a decent close. So for our finale, I'm going to go over the last little bits of metallurgy. Before I get started, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys get a peek at the recipes. So go ahead and take a look, and I'll just sit here quietly. Yeah, that's what we're working with. You got it? Good. Okay. I better get some food in my character real quick, otherwise we're gonna have problems. So, if you haven't guessed yet, this is what we're doing for this tutorial. We're making steel. Now, we're not just making any kind of steel, we're making red steel. Now, I went ahead and put up blue steel as well, but... This is going to be a bit of a process, and we got to do this just right. So, I got to make sure I have all my equipment set, and apparently I missed some stuff, so... Hmm. Where did I put those? Nope. Yeah, I just kind of threw these away, honestly. We'll just put that there, and put this here. Where did I put those? Oh, there they are. Okay. So this is going to require some diligence. So we're going to put this right in here for now. And we're going to go from there. So, let's get started, shall we? Right click. Okay. And we need to get this thing nice and hot. So while that starts to warm up, let's get a pickaxe and... Actually, we need an axe. There we go. So, over here, I basically got our three bellows. I'm going to snag up one of these and put it... Let's see. Yeah, we're going to put it right next to <coughs> our current forge. That way we can make sure it gets nice and hot. So, we're going to pop this out. Okay, and then we want to... Snag this, and there we go. Okay. So we need to get this thing nice and hot. Hot enough to melt steel. Okay, so following our little recipe book here, right? Because we got a decent little recipe book. What we want to do is we need steel, nickel, and black bronze. So, this is going to be pretty easy. Starting off, we'll just do this. Okay. Black bronze. More steel. There we go. Come on, baby. Heat up. And just like everything else we've done up until this point, it's a game of patience. Okay. Now we need nickel. And we get weak steel. 
Now this week's deal is not quite done yet, but it's getting there. Please excuse the noise in the background. Okay, so let's go ahead and drain this off and we're gonna need, you know, a bit of this anyways. So I went ahead and ahead of time I've already gotten us a black steel anvil, okay? That should get us going kinda start with. Okay, brilliant white and we're gonna need more of this okay so we're going to need to actually make this black steel without too much hesitation let's see how many more units do we got we got two more units okay so we need to take this weak steel right and we need to weld it with pig iron now, the sad part about that is, it, shit, we gotta weld it with pig iron. Give me just a second, guys. I actually gotta go get some pig iron. I completely forgot we needed pig iron. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, I went ahead and got some pig iron, and we still got some of our, you know, black steel. But now we gotta kind of reheat it a little bit. So what we need to do is we need to basically heat up our steel here and we need to mix it with the pig iron. So we actually need to weld this all together, which is why we need this to be so hot. In the meantime, let's go ahead and... Hmm. Oh, there it goes. I was wondering what had happened. Let's get this back in here. And we'll heat this up as hot as we can get it. and then we'll drain off the last of this okay that's already yellow so we're gonna go ahead and stick this in here as well we got the pig iron heating up there we go okay so now we've got all of our black steel started but we still need a little bit more to go with so let's get this pig iron nice and hot And in the meantime, let's start our ingredients for our next thing. So once we have our black steel, we're going to have to mix our black steel with other ingredients as well. In this case, we want brass and gold, as well as regular steel. So, let's start with our brass, gold, okay, and then we want two steel, one, two, Oh, I think I accidentally melted our one of our black steels. Whoopsie. Okay. So now, after this, we're going to need to have a major mix of black steel. So we've got three here. I think that might be enough, maybe? Okay. So we've almost got this hot enough. I'll see you guys here in a bit after I get um, this actually set up and squared away. Oh, well, actually, no, no. We'll wait. We'll wait. Okay, it's white. And... Come on, we're just waiting a little bit longer. Okay, can work. Come on. Come on, baby. Heat up. Alright. And can weld. Okay. So, can we get another star or two just in case? Yes, we can. Okay, we'll pop this out. Uh, I guess we should pop this back in real quick. Let this cool down so it's not liquid anymore.
Okay. Brilliant white. Let's go ahead and yank both of these. There we go. Okay, we'll pull this out. And now we weld that steel with our pig iron. And now we've got high carbon. And what we want to do is we want to take this, pull that, and another high carbon. And like always, we beat it into shape. Right into making the oh, red steel. steel a little bit off. Once again, that's like dead on. Hmm. There we go. Maybe I need to select the plan first. And we've got our black steel ingot. Sweet. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward a bit, guys. Because um, I doubt you guys actually want to see me sit here for the next... Yeah, I, I had to select the plan. Of course I did. I don't think you guys want to see me here for like the next half hour doing all this, so we're going to fast forward until I got all the black steel that we need all squared away, because it's going to be a little while. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. I've gone ahead and tossed in all five pieces of black steel, and I've got one more on the way because the next thing we need to do is we actually need to fuse the weak red steel with um, black steel to create high carbon red steel so yeah it's all a game of cat and mouse at this point but since we've actually got this going we've got eight bars of red steel from one batch that's one hell of an achievement right so we'll go ahead and we'll drain off one of these And, oh, that looks like I gotta heat this up again. Okay, we just need this thing to get up, high up in heat again. So, total, you're going to need at least six pieces of black steel. In order to get those six pieces of black steel, you're going to be required to put in at least two pieces of, um, let's see, that would be equivalent to four, so I would say about <clears throat> four pieces of steel, two pieces of nickel, and two pieces of black bronze. Yeah, you heard me. That's actually not that expensive if you consider everything else we've actually done just to get this far, right? So, let's see. We'll keep that a brilliant white. I think as long as we keep it in here, it should be fine. And... We need to be able to weld these together, so it needs to be as hot as Hades. Come on. I think it needs to be at least in the yellow or bright yellow. There's yellow. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's got to be bright yellow. And then we'll fuse these together and we'll pound out our red steel. Yep, as long as it stays in there, it seems like it stays nice and hot. Okay. It says can be weld, so it's just below bright yellow. We'll pull that. Let's uh, let our red steel actually cool a little bit so it's in a decent region. Which will actually allow our black steel to heat up a bit more. And... There we go. Brilliant white. So we'll take this, strip that, pop both of these in here, and weld. Hmm. 
Weld with black steel to create. Oh, right, because we need to use the other anvil. <laughs> I'm being silly. I put on the wrong anvil. And I just feel stupid. <laughs> this is our steel anvil. To go up to the red and blue steel, you actually need to use the black steel anvil. And even then, you can only make the red steel or blue steel. You can't actually work with it until you make a red or blue steel anvil. So let's see. Yellow. There we go. Okay. While we have a chance, we'll yoink these as well. And weld. Okay. Select in plans, because that's where we screwed up last time. And... There we go. Our one piece of red steel. Okay. Well, it's been a long and arduous journey, right ladies and gentlemen? We've had a fun time, we've had a hard time, we build some really difficult builds, we build some really awesome builds. But now, we've actually got our first piece of red steel. Honestly, there's very little I can teach you guys now. You guys have been through the ringer same as me, we've gone through all this stuff, and we finally made it. We made red steel. And blue steel is kind of the same process. The only difference is, is we're switching out the rose gold and brass for sterling silver and bismuth bronze. So, depending on the resources you have available, might actually change what you can make, but you should be able to make at least one of these two. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for stopping by. Hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial series, and I hope you guys stop by for more stuff later. We plan on doing other tutorials as well, from other mod packs or mods, and we hope you come around for those as well. In the meantime, in between time, we're hoping you've enjoyed yourself in Terraformer Craft, and if you guys want to know anything else, leave it down in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't, hit the dislike button and let us know what we did wrong. Aside from that, if you want to see more of these, check out our channel. Anyways, that's it from me. It's been great having you guys, it's been fun, and I hope to see you guys all again on our channel. Stick around, and I'll see you guys, hopefully, next time. Bye. I'm going to make me some red armor.